Hey, what's going on, everybody? Relish is back. Got a new video. Um, today we're gonna be starting off with uh, how to fix these disconnected issues that you're having with Xbox. I've been dying to find out and diagnose it and fix this error. So for the easiest thing, if you don't know the website of your router name, is you just go to search bar in your start menu or if you got Windows 8 you can just open up a folder anywhere and just type in CMD hit enter it pops up you type in IP config enter and wireless name lane adapter Wi-Fi default gateway that's your router fourth one right there last one of the Wi-Fi you type that in the website type that in the URL hit enter and go to DMZ put clear put your password in hit enter and then you're gonna have to multitask here you're gonna have to go on your TV Xbox go to your settings system network settings click the router or wireless wired network and then hit configure network and then it will show the IP of this gateway Xbox device that you're on and mine says 192 168 22 so I changed it here to 2 2 hit enable apply changes give it a couple seconds and then it should update it and this right here it's gonna help and fix all these issues with your disconnected problems from the party chat and then go to your virtual servers after you apply the changes go to your virtual servers and in the description you're gonna put XBL stands for Xbox and in the inbound port put 88 and for the type put UDP private IP that's gonna be the Xbox IP address that you've just found while you were multitasking onto the Xbox private bot port it's going to be 88 and then for 2 XBL Xbox Live again inbound port 3074 type TCP and UDP private IP address same thing whatever your Xbox Live IP address is private port 3074 after you apply those changes your virtual servers for Xbox Live should be up and running with no problems being disconnected from party chats and this helps for Linksys and Belkin router setups um, but they're different in different Verizon and other companies they're a little similar different but you'll get the drift this isn't really necessarily necessary for everybody but it will help out if you have a Belkin router or Linksys router so apply those changes give it 30 seconds might kick you off and then now I don't want to keep this too long. Just re enter the site. I should have showed you guys this one first. 
if you have a Belkin or a different one look for UPNP as you see I enabled it already scroll down and the only thing you're gonna do is the UPNP enabling this right here is gonna help you go from strict moderate in MW3 Black Ops where you'll be able to tell if your NAT type is strict moderate or open and this will open the status but you're gonna have to make sure that afterwards you're done with all this and you saved and applied all changes that you first one don't reset your whole router again as in hold the button in the back of the router and reset it you think that's going to reset it you're actually resetting the whole router settings that you're working on here so you don't want to hold that button ever if anything unplug it for 30 seconds or unplug the modem and then or you can just go to restart router in the disk right here if you don't even want to move and then just restart the router so anyways just apply the changes in uh, UPNP make sure you enable it and that's it apply changes that's it after you've done with that apply changes um, go on Xbox go to test Xbox live connection and that's going to reset the whole connection and then log on MW3 or whatever and your NAT type will be open and you never have to worry about getting disconnected from parties or any of that. It's going to run fantastic. Alright, thanks for checking my videos out.